Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hand of Fate. I'm Nye. And I'm not Nye. That's right, viewers. Back I'm back, soon. bitches. So Trance is back because Mako is not around. So Trance has deigned to join me. So Trance, uh, unfortunately in the past you have missed that I beat the game. Nice. You beat the dealer? I beat the dealer. So, um... We are now working on Endless Mode. Nifty. And we're still playing on Warlord difficulty. Which, um, I was very pleased to learn that there was actually an achievement for beating the game on Warlord. So, all of my trouble did bear out with a reward. I was pretty pleased. But I wasn't pleased about, let's see, we get cursed, cursed luck as usual, so chance cards are harder, if you didn't uh, remember these trance, I'll try to, we're gonna try to go back over things that I usually skip over, so that way I can get trance caught up, because he hasn't been here in like, 20 episodes. So I It's been a while. It's been a while. So I automatically get critical strike, because I get a free blessing at the start of the, uh, at the start of the game. That's a good one to get, too. Uh, it's... It's okay. It, it's a mid-level blessing. It's not really good. It's not really terrible. You could have gotten much worse. Oh, no, no, no. Don't get me wrong. Really? I'm not saying I, could have got, I couldn't have gotten worse. Going to do? No, but, I know. Um, you know, it's not, an, it's not an amazing blessing to start with because I currently have no way to stun enemies. Um, but at least it, it's not blessed with bees. What's the effect of that? Bees! So, uh, we hit the old graveyard, and because I don't have any curses, or at least I have more blessings than I do curses, uh, I get a full recover for my wounds, which doesn't matter, because I was at full health anyways. Uh... And suddenly bird! Yeah, we're gonna try to hide from this, because I don't want to deal with this particular encounter. A choice. Select your desire. Damn. Um... Okay, so we get grabbed. That was a weird comment, because I the body of the Bandit Queen vanished beneath the sands. That's a comment that's supposed to happen after I beat the Bandit Queen and get this card. But that was a oh. long time ago, so why did it proc again? I Maybe it could just be related to the card itself that that's a thing. Like the I mean, lore behind it. It's definitely a thing, it's just it's a weird thing. So we're going to take some damage. I am sorry. Oh no, we lost a food. I unfortunately got a little bit saddened that a, uh... Let's see, this guy wants my shield. I don't really particularly like this shield, so we're gonna go ahead and sell the shield to him. And get four gold gain cards. Uh, the shield that I sold was the, uh, Emperor's Jewel or something like that. Uh, there's a chance at the start of combat, the artifact that I actually don't have right now would have its, uh, 50% chance. My artifact would have, it, have its cooldown, uh, reduced to, uh reduced to zero an expedition immediately available Personal. or something like that um which is pretty nice it's, it's nice but i don't have any artifact right now and i would rather have 130 some odd gold more lost another bit of food that's fine you're all nearly pieces okay, let's go to the right we're summoned the circle repeat yeah i was uh kind of saddened because uh Does one of my favorite youtubers um who I watch on a fairly frequent basis whenever he puts something up, infrequently as that is. Um, that he, truly rules over he, uh, he had a Hand of Fate uh, series going, and uh, unfortunately uh, came to the conclusion, screw this game, and quit. I was really saddened by this. I it was understand. because of a bug killing his save, if I recall. Yeah. Um, well, it's not, it's not a bug. So, this was kind of unfortunate because he was playing... He was... So he was doing a series just as I am, and this isn't a bug, this is working as intended, it's just a kind of unfortunate that this is working as intended. Um, when they were doing some balance changes, kind of soon after Hand of Fate came out, as a couple of cards were being adjusted, especially for DLC, uh, it was decided that some of the cards that he had unlocked were instead better as DLC. Uh, we're gonna pick the Armor of Cold here because I prefer having enemies around me slowed over every third blow from undead enemies is reflected back at them. An old priest. They weren't very good at smithing, but they held their own against the undead for a time. Slowing is a lovely effect yeah, in slowing any... is sexy. So we're gonna do that. We're also gonna gain three food and five gold. Okay. 
Um, but yeah, he, uh, so what happened was, is that whenever, if you were in the middle of a game, so if you leave the game, if you exit the game, turn it off, crash, whatever, uh, the game saves itself after the last choice you could have made. Um, so whether this be the next time you step, or, um, you know, it could be the last chance card you chose to, uh, activate, you know, what have you, uh, that's when the game saves. So, um... What happens is, is that if during a patch, the cards that you have access to are changed. So, if the patch makes it so you would not currently have access to a card that was in your deck at the time you were playing, your current game is deleted. Not your progress throughout the game, but your current run is destroyed. Uh, which is both understandable and not understandable. It would break the game for you to have a card that you have no way to actually access. Completely, it would completely break certain trees of, like, unlock, stuff like that. Uh, but, um, he had already had a lot of trouble with the game, and he was so upset that he just decided to quit. Uh, which is, again, as, as I said, it's a shame. There were other options they could have used, such as replace the card with, uh, something else. Well, but what if... Like, I think the, uh, whatever, whatever player curse, uses a weapon ability, we lose a food. Let's That's a I'm curse that we just took. Um, but, Ugh. like, what if the situation that you're currently in, we're going to, uh, request a song of these two, uh, which gave us, unfortunately, nothing. Um, we're gonna pay them half our food and hope they don't get pissed. Okay, good. We activated the Duke Kader event. Your supplies um, so short. You are on risk yeah, they ground. could, but what if... For example, um, the, the card I just got, Finally, Minstrels, opportunity uh, if I get the good results, I get up to two blessings, and I also trigger a flag that if I find the Lonely Bard later on and successfully pass his flag, uh, I get a further event that gives me a gigantic pile of goodies. So what if I don't have Wandering Minstrels unlocked, and we're further along the game, so my save state says that I passed Wandering Minstrels. You said I'm not allowed to have it, and you took it out of my deck, but that flag is still flagged in my save file. What happens when I hit Lonely Bard? You already hit Wandering Minstrels the, po uh, Minstrels, the point is moot. Since you've already hit it, there's nothing left to trigger it. It's just a stationary flag. So you're telling me that even though in my game I passed the flag that should give me a reward, I'm not allowed to have the reward because you decided I wasn't supposed to have that card in the first place? No. That sounds kind of bullshit. If, no. What I'm saying is, okay, your deck, the patch updates, your deck no longer contains Wandering Minstrels, right? Now. Right. But you still have a flag set that what says you that? hit Wandering Minstrels. Okay, so you're going to give me the reward, even though I shouldn't have been able to have that card in the first place. Because you did at the time. I mean, that makes sense. But how do you tell the game that makes sense? Well, let me ask you this. There's an NPC. Talking to him sets a flag that says, Hey, other NPC gives you a gold. You talk to him and then delete it. But the flag isn't deleted, is it? Just the NPC that gives it. So you can still talk to NPC B and he'll still give you a gold. Possibly, that I, I guess. It, I guess it's the question of how does, how are the flags saved to the uh, system? Every card. The flag oh, is related to the card itself. Right it's now. an Every event card. flag. That's Painted all. By your view of the world. It's a I balance thing that made them do that. The Not a game logic thing. That's all. Years. Well, what, what I'm saying is, I get oh, okay. This is this is a really this is a really terrible event. This is a really terrible event. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Oh, we are so boned. We are so boned. That was a terrible decision on my part. Okay, you. Enough out of you. No. Okay, we are so dead. So dead. We are dead. We are, we are deceased. We are no more. We have shuffled our mortal coil, and I forget the rest of the skin. So the problem is, is that I took the Devil's Wager, which sets my health to... Damn it. It sets my health to eight. And then immediately has me fight multiple enemies, which would have been fine. 
But then the game immediately threw me into an arena that has very Death hard to dodge traps while fighting time. enemies that have ranged attacks. Perhaps that might have settled you. Another yeah. of my servants fulfills his <laughs> That did not end well. To Go quote ahead, the TV jump. show Archer, uh, how do you say Wampwa? Wampwa? What is Wampwa? Wampwa. It... Ah. I am not the first to gotcha. the cards. Nor are you the first Okay. Oh, uh, see, that is a I really bad curse. Or that is a really bad last. blessing. <laughs> Whenever we use an artifact, there's a 30% chance of immediately reducing its cooldown by 80%. That's terrible. Ooh, and we got a free a shield! Left Yay! Arm is as important as a strong right arm, after all. Help the locals. Uh, what do they want me to do? No, I'm not giving you 20 gold. Okay. Up was the tavern, right was the lizard dome, further right was the local peasant. We're just gonna leave! Yay! We go to floor two, having gained nothing. <laughs> Other than a good experience. If you say so. We can hope that. As okay. Each card is tavern wager. As We're gonna wager our helmet against this guy's gold. That we learn something about ourselves, or something about you, at least. Failure. I was trying to go for the one on the right, and uh, every so often, unfortunately, lost my helmet. Every so often, when I try to move my cursor, I press A a little bit before the cursor moves that final step. You might want to not rush and do that. Yeah. That probably would be the smart way to do this. Uh, we have a mimic. Fucking mimics. As a Dark Souls veteran, fuck mimics. Oh, you don't understand. Nasty. Oh no, it isn't a mimic. How is it not a mimic? It's a mimic mimic. It looks like a mimic, but it's not. Well, the reason I said it was a mimic had nothing to do with, um... So, you see how the... See the card on the left? Mm -hmm. The treasure chest? If it has a lock, it's not a mimic. If it doesn't have a lock, it is a mimic. Okay. Usually... The, so there's three steps to this card. Step one, uh, traverse the hallway. If you fail, you have to deal with the poison gas trap. If you Fun. succeed, skip step three. Ste if you fail, go to step two. Step two, avoid the poison gas trap. Now, typically, that is a one fail, or no, one success, three fail card. However, we got two success, two fail, which typically means the next card's going to be a mimic. Somehow, this wasn't a mimic. I don't know. I'm sure you're just lucky. It just it's it's one of those weird things when that happens. Petty See. magic, this. Cooldowns reduced by ten percent, but damage is also reduced by ten percent. That seems terrible. We're gonna take it. it ought to be oh, and I have to equip it, unfortunately. Damn. A full blown mage should be able to produce something far better. Okay, Warlord Two. You I still don't have the Disciples that. Ring, so I can't do anything with that. Devil's Choice. Okay, this is the Devil's one we do want. Hey, Trance, should I fight the Two of Dust, the Two of Dust, or the Two of Dust? Yes. So the Devil's Choice says that um, I choose one of three cards. Then the Devil himself will decide, do I fight the card I chose or the, three, or the two that I did not? This time he decided to stick me with the one that I chose. So it was either fight to... Uh, Two dust or uh, four dust. Neither of which is actually that fire trap in the background is actually more uh, dangerous than these guys are. Yep. Three gain cards, including three food. Nice. Nice. Food is Draw good. four and decide either to put them on the top or on the bottom. Sword, Ring, and Gorging, Mace, or the Skullcap of Prophecy. Those can go on the bottom. And gain 10 max health. A little Neat. extra health. Not bad. But not bad at all. Amazing. And the Devil's Wager immediately after it. Okay. We will fight two dust, starting at eight health. Yeah, now two keep, dust should be simple. Now keep in mind, this is the card that killed me last time. However, he put me onto a... Uh, instead of putting me in the trap-filled dungeon, he put me in the one that has no traps whatsoever. At least none that I'm aware of. And we win. 
See, that's how the first time should have gone. But he doesn't heal you up after you're done, does he? Um, he sometimes does. Partially healing me, he gave me a full heal. And gave me oh. one gain card of three food. So he gave me the full heal, but he didn't give me any good reward. A voyage across the ocean. Okay, the dealer's gonna add a bunch of monsters to the monster deck. And we lost an equipment, which is darn it, the merchant's ring. I say that I created this game. I take it that's one you like. Many of the um, the merchant's ring is not amazing. True, it just not at the start of the floor, if there is a merchant on the floor, it'll show me where it is. That's all the merchant huh. ring does. Effective. However, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's actually a fairly good thing because the merchant's ring shows you because it shows you where the merchants are. If you're running out of food, you can make a beeline for them, which uh, yeah. is actually generally a good thing. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and buy the four tooth breath there. That will help. So that's it's generally a good thing to have the merchant's ring, but it's not one of those if I don't have it, I'm in a bad way sort of deals. The other it's thing a is nice card. Yeah, I could also get the master ring, and the master ring says that for every ring I have, uh, every step I gain. Um, Every step, step or not every step, every encounter, which means dead. every card I actually do to completion, um, I gain one plus one for every ring in my possession. One what? Uh, sorry, one gold. Not bad at all. Adds up pretty quick. Uh, we're going to go ahead and... We're going to ask for a longer life out of her. Choice was food, gold, or longer life, and she gives me plus 15 uh, max health, which is actually really good. Yeah, I'd, I'd consider that a win. We're going to go to the Helpful Priest, who will give me three food for 12 gold, which is actually, uh, that is the best, um, without ring help, that is actually the best um, exchange rate you can get food for gold, is uh, four gold for one food. With rings, I believe the best you can get is two gold for one food, but that's really hard to do. Um, oh, the Skeleton King shield just showed up. I guess I'm gonna have to buy that. I just bought Fortitude's Breath, too. Damn. Uh, Fortitude's Breath says every third encounter, so every third event that I do, not third step, every third event that I do, it does not consume food to go there. And that's the only effect it has. The Skeleton King shield, on the other hand, says that if I, st if I shield bash a skeleton, I instantly kill it, and I stun other enemies. That's kind of cool. Choice. Yeah, it's a really fantastic shield. Uh, it is actually won me games. Um, it's really a fantastic weapon, or a fantastic shield to have. It's I think it's one of the best. Um, yeah. I mean, I think how common are skeletons? Now, this is my um, they are roughly one fourth of the monster cards in the deck, which is really damn good. Mm -hmm. uh, traps just grew ten percent deadlier. Little they do ten percent more damage. More watching your attempt to wriggle Let's away up. from bad luck. The lovers. Okay, so the lovers. I have a couple of choices. I have to. I can help them uh, to escape. So either I can offer to help and they'll give me a blessing. I can demand payment for assistance and they'll either give me money or they'll give me two rings. Or I can report him to his father, which gives me multiple uh, gold, but I get cursed. Or I can refuse to get involved. We're going to demand payment, and we're going to get the rings. Excellent. That's what I want. What rings do they give me? The Guild Master's Ring. Every time we enter a shop, I automatically receive plus one food. It's okay. Uh, and the Golden Ring of Pain. For every 20 gold in my possession, I gain plus one damage to a maximum of plus 10 for 200 gold total. Not bad. Uh, it, there's two cards that are good on that list. There's the Golden Ring of Pain, which is the more gold I have, the more damage I do. And there Fair is nice. the, um, the Massive Extortion that says the less gold I have, the more damage I do. That one's interesting. Uh, it actually, I believe the Massive Extortion actually does more, uh, damage overall, too. Yeah, because it's got a much heavier cost. Let's see. Uh, we're going to take 100 gold from the shopkeeper, and if within five steps I get to the return policy card, which is three steps away, I uh, get a free item. Nice. However, if I fail to get there within five steps, I lose half of my health, and something else bad happens. I can't remember. Well, that's no fun. 
yeah. It's, uh, it's not a particularly pleasant card to deal with. Cursed Treasure. Okay, so, now we have a dilemma. So, Cursed Treasure says, If I take the treasure, I, I take five curses. Keep in mind, not all, uh, some curses are double-edged swords, some curses are simply bad. In return, I get four gold gain cards, and I believe two pieces of equipment. Now, here's the reason this is a dilemma. I bought a I bought a ring last floor that says every curse I have gives me three extra damage per curse. So here's the question. Go for it. Okay, you know, never mind. There's no open. question. Uh uh oh. My heart uh, sinks, uh. I lose all blessings. Oh, okay. I uh, it was don't. it wasn't the true curse treasure, apparently. Yeah, I, I was not expecting that, that's for sure. Okay, so let's hand over the 100 gold. And I get to claim a piece of gear. Either the Forbidden Armor, the Skeleton King Helm, or the winner, the Ring of Rewards. So, Forbidden Armor says that um, it gives me great protection from harm because it's a heavy piece of armor. However, it renders me immune to all healing effects, so I cannot heal while it's, while it's equipped. Sod that noise. Skeleton King Helm is a helmet that says a hit on me gives me my next attack a 25% damage bonus. This stacks up to three times, but gets removed after my next attack. It's Interesting. The Ring of Reward, the winner, says after every third combat, in addition to all my other rewards, I draw three equipment and keep one of them. That's fantastic. Hi, just give me free stuff. Okay, so this is the exit. So Ember Town Hero is lower left, which gives me one gain card, but I'd take 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 damage just to get there. So I'd get killed. I'd die. Screw that. Hero's Reward, or Hero's Remains, says I get two pieces of, uh, uh, one weapon, one shield. If I successfully bring them to the final location, I get rewarded. If I don't, I lose half my health. This would require me to take several steps. I would probably get killed anyways. Or I could leave. And my choice is to skedaddle. Better than trudging along a muddy road. Certainly. Let's see. A bunch of stuff got added to the deck. Uh, and we lose 30% of the food that we don't have. Games aren't designed. Okay, so we're going to go. And think. basically all we're they trying to do is um, they evolve around get the snacks. Flow through. Yeah, pretty much. The things they love and hate we're gonna get teleported straight friends. to the next floor. So we got cursed. Uh, we're not allowed to choose a. Uh, we are not allowed right now to make any choice that would involve me getting into combat. Field of poppies randomly reorients all the cards around me, and any encounter I have already encountered becomes flipped over and is able to be re-encountered. Doesn't matter because that was the first step I took on the floor. Again, a token. Is okay. So, here's the thing. Moonlit Horror. It's a card I have not beaten yet. Uh, and I'm not allowed to accept anyways. Never mind. Because that to, uh, to accept would be to fight. Pitiful. Desert Cult. I can either refuse to give my blood, which means that I do a fight and then get an equipment reward, which I can't do because I'm not allowed to choose that. Or I can offer my blood, which means I'm going to draw two pain cards. Lose five max health, lose five health. Okay. How We're gonna draw one blessing, will the gods, at the start of any combat. An enemy is highlighted. If I kill that enemy first, I gain five gold. Eh. The Crucible. So, uh, we're going to uh, attempt to... I'm not allowed to enter the Crucible, because I'm a coward. Uh, we're going to attempt to bribe the mayor. Um, we're going to offer him 20 gold. To be able to pass to get passage through town, which I succeed. So, uh, they give me, they give me that, and we move on. This is the exit. Uh, there is a shop two steps to the right, which I have to go to because otherwise I'm dead. I don't actually have a choice in this matter. Let's see what you will find. So we're going to go to the battle at Brooktop, which I believe I'm going to be forced to say no to. I'm not allowed to fight this. I take two pain cards, uh, which could kill me. No. Neat. Okay. We go into the Traveling Healer. Just for going to a shop, I'm going to get plus one food. Awesome. Okay. Trance, we're not dead yet. 
Just nearly. Okay, uh, in order to get rid of cowardice would be 50 gold, which is all of my gold, and I wouldn't be able to buy food, which sucks. Um, so... What does the cult ring do? Uh, for every curse I have, I deal th plus three damage. Oh, that one's nice. We're gonna get rid of Mage's Scorn, because I like dealing damage. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get rid of Medium Armor, because I like moving faster. Um... Okay, so next... We're going to remove the uh, Curse of Cow... Well, how much? I need 18. Do I have 18? Yes. First of all, we're going to spend 18 gold to get 5 food. Next, we're going to remove the Cowardice Curse. So that way I actually have choices I'm allowed to make. And now we're going to leave. So the plus side to this, I'm allowed to make choices. I have food, so I'm going to gain health for the next several steps. The downside to that is that... Um, I have no gold and I have very little food. Pleasing than the smell of salt water so there, it's it's you know, is there. pluses and minuses. <laughs> okay, uh, we just drew a curse. Rusted aura equipment the game cards have no effect. Delivers. So if I Ow. would if I would choose a card to gain equipment, I instead do not. And Ghost of the Sea is going to curse me again with blighted. I'm no longer allowed to be healed, and that's going to get me killed. Yeah, you're, you're host. Pretty much. We're going to go ahead and open this casket, even though it bears the Cursed Serpent's Mark. Because I make bad decisions. Huge failure. Ooh. You cautiously break open the seal, releasing a burst of stale dusty air. Suddenly, a scorpion falls out onto your arm. Draw two pain cards. Lose five health. Huh. Lose ten max health. Well, you're hosed. Surprise portal. All of a sudden, go to the next floor. No, never mind. Don't go to the next floor. Go down. How much gold do you want? I don't have 40 gold. I'm sorry. Um. Yeah, I actually am hosed. Because I have no food. Starting to look hopeless. Let's go ahead and pray to the old gods for salvation, even though it doesn't matter, because the next step I take is going to kill me. Oh, they might grant you... I don't know. Was... Huge failure. Ooh, you... <laughs> Two monster cards and a health pain card, which will kill me. Lose 10 health. I am dead. And nothing was pieces. gained. I'm afraid that is where this round ends. Some other time, perhaps. Well, unfortunately, folks, that's going to be it for us. We didn't get anywhere, but we died in some very funny ways. We'll catch you guys next time. Later, viewers.